What's up, buddy? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. So it says here, married with an infant son, wondering if divorce is the right path. Yeah. Yeah. So love the content. Uh, great to be on the show. I, I learned too, uh, too late. I didn't court long enough. And I'm, Old just, you? I'm sorry. How old are you? I'm 28. So you're 28. And how old your kid? Uh, he's about a month old now. Ooh. Okay. And are you still with the mom? I am. I am. And that's the okay. question. I've been thinking a lot about this over. We've been married now a year and a half. I've been thinking a lot about this lately. Um, since we got married, actually, you know, she's really great. And it's one of those things where she's so awesome and she's always tries to be there. She's very supportive. She's a great asset to my life. Uh, but my life is, is a bit of a mess and I've been just starting to try and put it together. And, and what I realize is that I need a, somebody who can challenge me and I need like a, a partner, like an equal partner. Does that make whoa, sense? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Hold on a second. Cause now oh, yeah, you're yeah. talking, now you're talking feminism. Okay. Okay. There's no, there's no equal partnerships in men and women's relationships. If you follow the red pill, they're very okay. different. So yeah. let me just stop you right there. So you said she's wonderful. She supports you, blah, blah, blah. So why yeah. do you want to untie the knot? Well, two, two primary reasons. The first is that I, it's really difficult just to have a, an intelligent conversation with her. She's well-meaning, but it, I feel like I've married down when it can't, comes to intelligence. It's, okay. it's like, and it's, I've like, I've tried, I really have, but. Okay. Yeah. So you want a chick that's going to challenge you. Uh, yeah. Well, at least sh help me see things that I don't see. Like, I feel like I'm the smartest person in the room all the time. Okay, well, you're probably going to feel that way with women pretty much for the rest of your life. Oh, geez, I hope not. Yeah. You know, no, 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 no. And that's, and that's totally fine, dude. I don't... <laughs> See, whenever I hear guys that start talking about stuff like, you know, I just want an equal partner and I just want somebody that challenges me sort of thing, yeah. that's feminist bullshit. That's, that's what they've been cramming down our throats for like decades. Um, you know, I can go back in the memory banks and it's like, you know, the Huxtables, you know, the Cosby show. Equal partnership. They're both doctors, yeah. except for who gets treated like shit in that TV show, Bill Cosby. It's always you know? the man, yeah. Right. He's always a bumbling idiot, right? So whenever I think like, you know, equal partnership and, you know, I want somebody to chant, like, do you really want to come home after chasing excellence all day, putting your dent in the universe, doing big shit, to have some fucking bitch in your house, like lecture you about something not going the right way? Maybe you put the you know, your dark shoes or sorry, your dark socks and the white hamper, right? Yeah, I'm more likely to actually tell her to do that actually okay. than she okay. is to but, tell me. But I mean, yeah. like what's wrong exactly with this marriage? Like, are you not attracted to this woman? Yeah. Yeah. So there's also that there's like, I'm physically it's, she's, she's also not entirely there either. Like she's cute and all, but, but it's either the, it's both the physical attraction that's kind of, Eh. And then it's also the intelligence because I'm not looking for to contend with anybody. So let me clarify that I'm not looking to contend. I'm looking for somebody who will help me problem solve. So yeah. if I have a problem that I'm no, like no, having to no, no, women don't solve men's problems. Men solve men's problems. If you need a board of advisors, like if you need, um, you know, to run something up the flagpole to see if everybody's going to salute it, sort of thing, uh -huh. then do that with your, you know, with your boys. Like, do you have brothers? Do you have close friends? I have, a, I have a brother. I've been pretty loner, though, for a long time. All right. Well, don't rely on women to help you solve problems because you're not going to be solving your problems. You're going to be solving her problems. Whatever the solution is that's going to be presented will solve her needs, not yours. Yeah. Interesting. Men, men solve problems for everybody. Women solve problems for themselves. Have you read my book? No, I actually, I read the you sample You must read earlier. my book. Yes, I read the sample earlier today, okay. and I saw on Kindle that it has, that you narrated it, right? So, yeah, well, yeah, on the Audible version. But what I was going to say is that they tell men and women very, very different things when it comes to making choices. And they tell men, do what's right. But they tell women, you do what's right for you, girl. Okay, you don't need her to help you solve problems. You need to learn how to solve your own problems and be confident in the problems that you need to solve. This isn't a marriage problem. This is a you problem, Jay. Yeah, and so, so <laughs> you're, you're you're expecting your wife to do everything that the feminist narrative has told you that you should expect her to do, and her, like the child's small. I'm assuming that she's taking care of the child while you're working, right? 
Yeah, yeah. So you bring home the bacon and let her cook it up. Make sure she cooks it up nice and fucking tasty, right? And as far as the attraction things goes, okay, look, you know, women throw on some weight when they get pregnant, but hey, it's not acceptable to carry that shit around for the rest of your life. Let's fix that, right? You figure out how it is that you want to communicate that, but your but your best way to deliver that is is for you to lead the example by being the giga chat, you know? Yeah. How tall are you? I'm about five seven. What do you weigh? Like one ninety. Okay, so you got a little bit of weight to lose, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So you know, lead the household and show her what strong masculine virtues look like. Good advice. It's good advice. I'm not saying that you need to stay married to her. I'm not saying that you need to leave her. But what I'm saying is what I'm hearing here is there's a lot of shit that you got to work on for yourself. Because if you leave this marriage, you're going to run into a similar set of problems with another check. And guess what? You're going to be a single dad with a small child in tow. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Okay. You're going to be a single dad with a small you know, child in tow. You're not exactly high on the totem pole of you know the dating marketplace as a guy with a small child. You know, the thing that I always found, you know, funny about women is women, women can have three kids from three different fathers <laughs> and still not want to date a single dad with one kid. <laughs> That's right? something. So I would start working on the you issues, right? Yeah. And if you want to talk a little bit more in the future, call, you know, call back in a future show, but read my book, you know, read some more of my recommended work. Okay. Yeah. Work on yourself because I mean, even if you are going to leave the marriage, you're, you're going to want to hit the ground running. You're going to want to prepare for the divorce because it's not exactly friendly to fathers either, right? Yeah, yeah. So so to summarize, so I understand, don't even think about leaving the marriage yet. Just focus on the things that I can control, like that I need to fix right now, hitting the gym, starting to chase excellence, building. How is it that you came across my channel, by the way? Um, you know, I saw one of your videos like a long time ago, the video about what, like, what women to avoid. Or okay. like the test, the test, the test. I date, I dated girls, and I did the key test because I had a, an mm -hmm. old Isuzu that it still worked on. Right, okay. most of them failed miserably. But the last couple of days, I I I think I saw a, a, I think I saw something pop up, and I clicked it, and I've just been consuming a lot of your stuff. Okay, and and I just I I I know I need to fix a lot of things in my life already. But this I can is one of those I can tell from your starting point that that. You're approaching your your life, your relationships, um, and the expectations that you have with women are broken. Mm -hmm. And my oh, book sure. basically talks about that. Like my book itself deals with broken belief systems and yeah. lies we've been told as men that we've subscribed to that we take hook, line, and sinker. And I was one of them. You know, I you know I can get a T-shirt that says, "Hey, you know, I was that guy," but um, yeah. Yeah, like you've got to unplug from a lot of those lies. And, you know, th that's basically the reason why I titled the book The Unplugged Alpha, because you're unplugging from all those bullshit lies, right? And mm -hmm. that will help you level up. Start there and then, you know, call back in. I do the show every Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. So call back in whenever you want. We'll talk again in the future, but start with that. Sounds good. I appreciate it, Rich. Take care. All right, Jay. See you, man.